Hey everybody, it's Kelly. I wanted to read you today this great book called If You Give a Moose of Muffin by Lauren Numeroth. She has written a lot of these books, so there's a lot in this series. So I'm gonna, um, today I'm just gonna read If You Give a Moose a Muffin. What do you think's gonna happen when if you give a moose a muffin? So think for 10 seconds, what would happen if you gave a moose a muffin? Hmm. All right, let's see if what you thought will happen, all right? Uh, so it's by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a moose a muffin, so exciting. If you give a moose a muffin, hmm, here we go. Give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another muffin, and another, and another. And when they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more muffins. Oh my gosh. So, you'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. Oof, cold out there. And then, when he puts on the sweater, he'll notice that one of the buttons is loose and he'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing and the button will remind him of puppets his grandmother used to make. He's very industrious, Moose, isn't he? So then he'll ask you for some old socks. And then he'll make sock puppets. He's a funny Moose, isn't he? And then when they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. And then he'll need some, he'll need some paint and cardboard. A puppet show, how exciting. And then he'll ask you to help him make the scenery. Ah, oh, look, they're painting, making the scenery. What do you think's gonna happen next? When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will be sticking out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. And then you'll bring him a sheet from your bed. A sheet from your bed. And then when he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. And he'll try it on and shout, boo. <laughs> It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over all the paints. Silly moose right? And then he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. And then he'll ask for some soap to wash out the sheet. And then he'll probably want to go outside and hang up the sheet to dry. And then when he goes outside to put it on the clothesline, who does he see? He sees your mom's blackberry bushes and your mom. Hmm, he sees those blackberry bushes. Wonder what's gonna happen next. Oh, seeing the blackberry bushes will remind him of that delicious jam. And then he'll probably ask you for some jam. Oh my gosh. And then chances are, if you give him the jam, what do you think? What do you think if you give him the jam? The one a muffin to go with it. <laughs> He'll want a muffin to go with it. Oh, it took us full circle, didn't it? If you give a moose a muffin, he had quite an adventure. That was pretty exciting. Okay, well, thanks for listening. Um, and I will see you soon with another Laura Numeroff book. 
um, just click subscribe if you want to hear more and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day and um, enjoy the sunshine if it's shining where you are.